Hello, I'm Dr. Mangla Devi. I'm the clinical director at Smile Baby IVF. I'm qualified from NUHS Singapore. So scar tissue can be present in several regions of the reproductive tract. So scar tissue can be present in the pelvis or there may be tubal scarring. So why is scar tissue present in the pelvis or tubes? It is usually due to infections. This is seen in around 30% of the cases. Then there can be endometriosis which is present and cause scarring leading to pelvic adhesions and tubal scarring. Then apart from that, maybe some surgical procedure that has been carried out in the pelvis may also lead to scarring. So this scarring may distort the anatomy of the tube or it may cause actual obstruction of the tube thereby leading to infertility as this prevents the passage of the ova into the reproductive tract. So apart from that, there could be uterine scarring as well. Now why could there be scars in the uterus? So this is generally uh, seen after endometritis or infection most often tuberculosis in our country or sometimes there may be after some kind of surgical procedure carried out on the uterus maybe a cesarean section scar or sometimes a myomectomy scar or even a simple thing like DNC following a miscarriage can give rise to intrauterine adhesions or scarring. So how does this alter this uterine scarring alter the fertility? So uterine scarring may cause anatomical obstruction to passage of the sperm to meet the egg or it can also change the blood supply to the endometrium thereby causing infertility. Then apart from this we have the cervix or the opening to the uterus which may also be scarred. So this may lead to narrowing of the cervical canal leading to cervical stenosis is what we say and this can in turn prevent or block the passage of the sperm into the uterus. Apart from this, we have what is known as a cervical mucus, which is very important for fertility. So this mucus, the quality of this mucus could be altered and lead to cervical factor infertility. So why does the cervix get scarred? So cervix again can get scarred most often due to some procedures on the cervix or due to infections, which is more common. So in all in all, cervical scarring or uterine scarring or tubal and pelvic scarring can give rise to infertility.